<laughs> What's this? <laughs> Yo guys, what is up, Fly here? Welcome back to the channel. We are back on the dev server. And as you can see, I was granted access to all of the tanks on the dev server, or all the Japanese tanks. And with that said, I don't think there's any other tank that I would like to try out now than the Chiri 2. This is a 5.0 battle rating tank. And if you just Feast your eyes on this fire rate. 18 shots per minute. This is the first autoloader in War Thunder. And we're going to take this baby out. Now, I don't know if we're going to go ahead and do a real tank realistic battle or hop in a, cus a custom battle, but we'll definitely get in a game. So let's get started. So we finally got a game. This is the new map, Abandoned Factory, and she already looks beautiful. Some nice urban combat right here. But I think you guys care more about the autoloader. So here we go. As you can see in the bottom of my screen, we have three shells I guess you would call, call, ready to go. Fire one. Holding down the trigger. And there we are. So it seems that between each shot, we have about a three second, 3.5 second cool down until the next auto loaded shell can go and then once those three are gone then we have a big cool down while the crew and the tank get the auto loader back up ready to fire so even though it says 18 rounds per minute that's in a perfect world scenario where the chiri or the gun system has as much ammo as it can have but there's some limitations inside of a tank you know with space and honestly the amount of shells you can put on the auto loading rack I don't, i'm not really sure how it works but it's not 18 rounds per minute that's the velocity once the guns reloaded i guess and then we have the 37 oh we have a sherman over here let's zoom in and if there was somebody else right there we could have taken him out okay good kill right there let's just chill for a second look in front of us looks clear so we only have two more rounds left to go. So this is this is a whole new mechanic to War Thunder. This gives the possibility of so many new vehicles and especially the French tanks to be added. Okay, right side clear. Now where the hell is everybody? Up, oh, Tango left, looks like an AI. Let's rotate the turret and pull back a little bit. BT-7. Or oh, nope, definitely not a BT-7. One shell left. Okay, tank moving up. Little cute AIs here. Okay, now we're on the long cooldown while the crew reloads the rounds. Let's hide for a little bit. Oh shit, we got a big Zerg rush. But this tank, it's gonna be awesome to be potentially getting um, multi-kills in the terms of two to three. Okay, one down, M2. Oh yeah, the Russians are pushing up with me. Let's try our secondary 37 millimeter. Okay, it doesn't want to work right now. Oh, I know why it doesn't want to work. It's because it's not on the turret, it's in the hole. Ah, okay. This is gonna come in handy when you're like reloading your auto. Got his engine. Got one more crew member in there, I believe. Oh, that was a bad shot. Now, how much can this thing tra traverse? I think it's actually on the hole. So we're... Okay, there we go. We got him down. Where you move your tracks is where the gun will go. Okay, two enemy tanks right here. There goes one. There should be one more in there. Reload it. He's moving back. Some poor shots on him. Couldn't get low enough into his hole. But we'll get him right here. Hopefully that 37 APH heat. What's up, bro? Got to time it perfectly. Oh, missed him. Well, oh, I got him good, actually. Okay, 37's almost reloaded. Ooh, shit. What kind of thing was that? 
looks like a hurricane or it's a oh yeah 40 millimeter hurricane let's get in some cover as fast as possible move 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 missed me a little bit there okay hostile teams capturing a and as you can see our 37 millimeters out of action we only have oh we got some good amount of crew in here i don't know why one of them doesn't go and replace the 37. i wonder if you can tell you know one of your crew members maybe they might implement this in the future Hey, you know, I'd rather have somebody on the 37 millimeter because I'm an auto loader that I can usually get out of a bad situation within three shots. I don't need to have a, a loader always there. You can maybe move your crew around, you know, something like that. Oh, shit. I found him. I can't kill him yet. That beautiful 7.7 .7 Jap. Don't ammo rack me. Oh yeah, I forgot it's not on my uh, turret at all. That should be long enough. There we go, he's down. Now this is where I would love to move the loader or one of, one of these crew members around here. Maybe even the, even the commander down to the 37 millimeter gun to be able to be able to shoot it off and what's really annoying is that i don't think we'll be able to test out the tri kill here oh it's so perfect we might be able to reload and you guys take out my okay well done war thunder ais you guys ruined fucking everything goodness what a what a what a beautiful map uh we're, we're back on abandoned factory and we're in a custom battle right now. It is arcade. Not that that is a bad thing. It's just not going to represent the gameplay I usually have on my channel. Oh, God. Beautiful. Holy shit. Okay, he's down on the reload. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Fucking asshole. Oh, yeah, BT5. There you go. God, this this reload is very long. It's just going to... You're really going to have to play this thing strategically. I mean, it's it's going to be very good initially to assault a position. But after that, you got to have a nice escape plan to get the hell out of dodge. Good hit on him. I'm going to save this ammo for some real players over here. Is this a real player? That kind of looks like a real player, but maybe not. No, he, he's got AI all over him. Okay, clear front. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> what is that? Wait, wait, can I still fire? Because this is arcade, right? I don't need to repair this cannon barrel, do I? I don't think I do. Let's uh, turn to the left here, because we got a lot of enemies over here. We got two more rounds in the chamber. Got an airplane. In, uh, oh, excuse me, dude. <laughs> Sorry, bro. There we go. Okay, yeah, we can repair. We got about three or four enemy tanks in front. There goes the M4A3. There goes a the Hago. Okay, let's be careful here. Got his driver. And that is where an autoloader is really going to... Oh, fucking hell. We got a mouse in here. That's where an autoloader is really going to come into clutch. So I'm pretty torn on what to think about the autoloader. Like, initially, it's really good, as I said before. And in clutch situations like that, it's good. We got a Leo right here. Let's just wait and see what he wants to do. Wow. But once you hit that... Once you get rid of your three shells, you are very, very vulnerable for a very long time compared to like a normal six, seven, nine second reload. We got a hog over here. We're going to flank around. Here, yeah, boom. Ooh, wow, that wasn't a good shot. Holy shit. Hago's tough right here. 
Can I bring it can I bring that gun up a little bit? Now we have a Leo coming to fling us, it looks like. Here he is. I don't think we'll be reloaded in time. Oh, come on. Yes! Alright, he's down. We got, we got another guy coming in from behind. I'm dead. Still alive? Ooh, shit, our fucking gun breach. Can we shoot or not? Okay, he's down. That didn't do anything right there. It just... Okay, oh my gosh. Run away, run away, run away and repair. <laughs> yeah, I like the auto loader in that situation. When you're reloaded and everything's kind of in your favor. Just retreat, nothing happened right there. We just killed two Leos back to back. A yeah, nice place to recuperate. God, I gotta play arcade more often. Okay, reloading or repairing the gun or whatever's damaged, and we'll try to put some new crew in there. And we'll call in some artillery. Right on our teammates. Okay, crews back up. Enemy kill assist. What did I okay, the Chiri, I guess I hit. Now there's another there's an enemy tank over here, as you can see in D6. Let's go and see if we can get him. It looks like another Leo. I think we're gonna go back to the same location that we were at before. Hopefully I'm not spotted. I don't. I really don't know how uh, arcade mechanics work too well. There's a Leo right here. Looks like he's on fire. A Hago player trying to flank around. It looks like. There goes the Leo player. Now we got a big old turret, so we gotta be careful about this. Watch our left. Oh, come on. Oh, we just missed it. Golly. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video with the Chiri 2, the first auto loader in War Thunder. As said in the video, I'm torn. I really like it in some situations and then in other situations, I really don't like it. I think because you know, with this new mechanic in War Thunder, we're going to have to learn the positions on the map where we can engage aggressively and digress properly to where if we spend all our shells, we'll be able to be in comfort while we reload for that 30 some old, some old seconds. But guys, again, hope you guys have enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace out.